Donald Trump is due to testify this morning in the New York civil fraud trial that could decide the future of the Trump organization. Trump follows his two older sons to the witness stand, and his daughter Ivanka has been called to testify later this week. The state is seeking $250 million in damages and limits on Trump doing business in New York. Robert Costa is outside the courthouse where Trump will appear. Bob, good morning. <clears throat> Good morning, Nate. It is a high-stakes day today for former President Donald Trump as he's set to testify about an alleged scheme to inflate his wealth. And behind the scenes, sources close to Trump tell me he has been simmering about how he, his own children, and his family business now face this trial. Former President Donald Trump will take the stand today in a civil fraud trial that has infuriated him. It's a pure political witch hunt, but we have the facts on our side. Sources close to Trump say they expect him to echo the testimony of his sons, Don Jr. and Eric, last week, where they defended the Trump Organization's business practices. We have an unbelievable company with some of the best assets anywhere in the world. Both face tough questions. Eric on his signature being on key financial documents, and Don Jr. about the management of the family business. Don Jr. repeatedly said any major issue should be taken up with the accountants, not him. I'm apparently guilty. Uh, of fraud for relying on my accountant to do, wait for it, accounting. The Republican frontrunner will also likely be pressed hard about his role in an alleged decades-long scheme to inflate the value of his properties and his own net worth, including whether he knowingly directed accounting executives to fudge the numbers. Trump has already attended many days of this trial, and outside the court has been raging about the case for weeks, with the lower Manhattan courtroom now a routine spot on the campaign trail. This is election interference, because I'm here now instead of being in Iowa, New Hampshire, or South Carolina. I'm here. Sources close to Trump say that behind the scenes and publicly, he can't stand the judge in this case, Arthur and Gorin, who has already fined Trump twice for violating a limited gag order in this case. But today in the courtroom, they expect him to be relatively muted and not risk contempt of court. But we'll see, Tony. We shall see, Bob. Thank you very much.